Hello everyone, good morning, good evening, good afternoon or good night, whatever the time is right now. So totally ignore me. I look like a total mess. From here I have to go walk the dogs. Why? Because I want to shower after I do everything. Um, yeah, I know this video had to be filmed like about three weeks ago, but I had a lot of things coming up and I was getting so busy and so overwhelmed with certain things, I barely had any time. And if I did, I had time at like 11 p.m. Anyways, for today, I'm going to try out some makeup TikTok hacks that I had found. There have been a lot of TikTok hacks lately and I'm living for them. I'm living for the uh, cleaning, uh, the clothing, styling, organization and makeup as well. Duh. And I really want to try out some of these makeup hacks the things and yeah so we're gonna try them out so basically this tiktoker who goes by the name of Michaela for sure I don't want to say the last name because I have no idea how to say the whole account but anyways uh I saw this tiktok hack and I said yeah let's try it out Listen, we all get acne, but do you have a big fucking zit getting you down? I got you covered. You didn't give permission for them to rent that space on your f- I just love the way she talks confidently in cameras. I love her. Base, let's get it out of there. We're gonna evict that bitch. You know how you use eyeshadow base to make your eyeshadow last longer? Same shit on your face. This is a P. Louise base in shade Envy. We're gonna use it to color correct, but not only that, to help our concealer really stick to that bad boy. I'm taking a really small amount on a flat brush, and I'm just tapping it right on top. It's gonna cancel out the redness. And then I like to just press it in with my finger. See how that redness is automatically gone? Now we're gonna correct the darkness. Taking a more peachy tone concealer, and I'm just pressing that in right over the air. Gently tap over that. Oh yeah, we're almost there. One more step. Take a concealer in your color and lay that right on top. Very important, dry sponge, dry. Gently tap it on top. Set with a little bit of powder on the sponge. Nobody's gonna know. Barely shows. It actually disappears. Kind. Okay, I'm actually impressed by this. Okay. I'm gonna use this hack whenever acne comes along. And like, for important events, I'm like, hey! I don't want you here. So you want to contour like a pro? Apply concealer here, 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 and here. Pick up that cream bronzer and apply it here, 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 and here. You're going to take that sponge and you're going to blend. Blend, 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 blend. Boom. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, so even though she applied this with a brush, I would just try to do my nose alone and then i would apply the concealer on top of it just because i use a darker concealer on my face i don't like it it's just the way of my it's either like my way of appli applying certain makeup products yeah, i prefer this way my nose looks better see Here's the thing, uh, not a lot of people have like maybe the same way of applying, that's why uh, there are different hacks. For example, this for me, I don't see it as a hack that I might use again. However, it is a hack I will be using for my cheekbones to blend in the product. So maybe it's not the whole hack I will use, but I will definitely use it as a hack for my cheek contouring. Now, I saw a video by this TikToker about how blush can actually change your features of your face. 
Uh, I wanted to try them all out, but I'm just going to try one of them. How blush can change your face shape? Oh. Lift to shorten face. Um. Enhance cheekbones. Um. Add fullness. Um. Um. Sun kiss. Basically, she shows like five different kinds of blushing uh, placements and techniques. I will be using the one that sun kiss, which is basically where it's not on the cheekbones exactly. It's more on the nose rather than where blush most people apply it at. I just want to try a cheekbone. Uh, I just want to try it out as sun kiss. I will be using the Kiko Milano Jelly highlighter actually uh this is more of a blush highlight situation i'm going to apply it by the way i have no glasses so I'm trying out as much as i can from far distance get a mirror i know i should get a mirror here my face to be honest um i think this is a video that should be saved in general because Sometimes I don't want to have like a sun kissed blush, sometimes I want a lifted or more rounded face shape and it's actually useful as a tip. It's actually really really cute. It's actually cute. I like it. It's adorable. It's a very short hack and I actually like the fact that it's a short hack. Now. I'm just going to do my eyebrows quickly and I'm going to also powder my face so that we can move on to the eyes. On to the next TikTok hack, I will be trying an eyeshadow hack. I actually tried out one eyeshadow hack, but I had tried that out on TikTok. Go follow me on my TikTok account. And anyways, I had found this particular TikTok hack, which intrigued my curiosity um if i can say that i'm going ahead with the technique press pigment palette i'm not sure which palette uh, this is or what it's called exactly but if i'm correct it's the sakura eyeshadow palette because it has cherry blossoms you have to try this eyeshadow hack. Try doing lines of eyeshadow just like this, starting with the deeper shade on the outer corner and adding the lighter shades toward the inner corner. Then take a fluffy eyeshadow brush and blend, and then blend some more. And then just top with your fave mascara. Actually, I find this really, really good. I'm actually shocked. It's amazing. I don't give it 100% exactly. However, if I'm ever in a rush and I just want to swoop them immediately, I would actually use this, so... Up next is another TikTok hack. Originally, I found this video from Nikki Tutorials uh, TikTok, but it's actually from Huda Beauty. So basically, it's a lipstick TikTok hack, which is supposed to help with the corner area. So it's with a toothpick, something like that. Oh, yeah. Anyways, and it's with lip, liquid lipstick. I'm using the Catrice one, so it's kind of like the corner. You apply a Q-tip in your mouth like this, mm -hmm. and then close your mouth, and then apply the lipstick. And apparently it's gonna make it perfect. Like you're gonna have the perfect corners. And the corners are always like the hardest part of the lip. Let's check. No. To be honest, I... <sighs> to be honest, I don't think it's a useful hack for me, but however, if you're a beginner with liquid lipstick and you're just having some fine motor skills, difficulties with using liquid lipstick, I think this hack actually helps because it actually helps me with this line and up here. So I'll be honest, if you're a beginner, I would definitely recommend this hack. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope you liked today's video. Please comment some video ideas that I can do more in the future of down below. 
and yeah don't forget to like subscribe and check out my other social medias just for anyone who's wondering yes i'm actually on tiktok you can find some of my makeup looks both on tiktok and you can find me as well on instagram so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye